Hey guys, uh, at a slightly different spot today. It's spinning here with me, but today uh, I'm going to be targeting uh, the big toothy creatures, some sharks. I've uh, got some nice fresh katonkel heads or uh, Atlantic bonito. I'm going to slide out there. Got a bigger swell than I'm used to here, but we'll, uh, we'll see how things go. Hopefully, there's something toothy swimming out there that uh, is hungry for some katonkel. because uh, you certainly do get a little bit more distance. Um, I like to use fresh water, um, so I'll try and bring a, a little bit more than drinking water and uh, just put it on the reel. And then what I'll do is, it's actually really nice water. Um, before I cast the sinker out, so I'm gonna be sliding a bit, um, but before I cast my sinker out, so I don't clip the, the anchor points in, just yet. I first give it a cast and then I wind it back in to get that, that water, water on all the line. Just uh, causes a bit of lubricant to, to cast a bit further. So I'll do a cast, bring it in, and then set up the sinker, cast it out again. sinkers just so I've got a bit of extra grip um, I uh, sort of bend them out that they're at a, a 90 degree angle to the to the sinker and then I make this other little 90 degree it just sits better it, it, it hooks better you get a much better anchor point um, and then what I do is sometimes if uh, it's still pulling um, then I'll actually take a cable tie and put it around there but then you're guaranteed to lose your sinker and uh, these are 9 ounce grapnels, they, uh, they're expensive sinkers to lose all the time. Alright, let's launch it out there, let it settle and then get our bait ready. So I'm really happy with that cast, probably cast I'd say a third further than with the, with the dry line, the initial cast. So uh, now it's time to get a katonkel head ready to slide out there. They are a little bit smaller so you could technically throw them, but I just like the extra distance just to slide them out. Okay, so this is quite a simple bait um, to make and uh, this is from a, a, a friend of mine who caught some. He obviously used them for meat and then I said, well, can I get the heads? Um, using one of my older traces, I've fished with it before, it looks a bit rusty, but it's still sharp, so it'll do the trick. And uh, you want to make sure the circle hook's nice and proud. Just get it through the, the tip of the, the head. Doesn't help when it's uh, still frozen. So you've got that nice proud uh, hook and then just to secure it in place I like to use a cable type. And that keeps it nice and solidly so 
see that's not moving anywhere. Take off this little tag end. Be sure to dispose of this, don't leave your rubbish lying around. It's a problem with uh, a lot of fishermen. And then uh, what I like to do is normally I'd cut these gill plates off, but because this is cut so close to the gills, I might not even do it. I might do a bit of a cut just to expose these gill plates or expose the gills because that's where the flavor is so in the gills there so just make sure it's nice and, uh, and there we go you've got a good nice neat bait nice and juicy and meaty and uh, yeah we'll slide it on out there check that the sink is uh, settled nicely and then slide it out there and uh, hopefully something comes along and eats it just um, gotten ready to uh, slide my bait out and I've made sure that the anchor point is nice and secure that's very important because if your anchor breaks the whole slide system doesn't work so make sure it's had time to settle in before you slide it out it can be really frustrating when you're busy sliding and the next thing um, you lose your you lose your, uh, your your grip and then the whole system doesn't really work so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my rod tip back uh, connect the slide and slide it down shake and then uh, when you feel you've shaken enough shake some more um, always end up with a little shake at the end just to get your slide over the, the, the um, knot that goes to the leader uh, so I make this little rock collection over here make a perfect little triangle perfect spot to uh, to put your rod in really nice and solid in the corner there and it's resting quite nicely that's solid there's that's not going anywhere it's quite easy to lift and pull out no need for pipes and things and uh, yeah now we just need to wait for the bite right so um we're waiting for the fish uh, my mate who gave me the katonkel heads the atlantic bonito heads actually made some smoked katonkel smoked bonito put it here my, with my bait because uh, my bait's frozen so it keeps it cool and fresh uh, and it's also uh, in a vacuum packed bag check it out looks quite shabby so uh, I'm gonna open it up give it a try see what it tastes like well, I'm gonna eat the katonkel hopefully the fish will probably yeah fresh top mm. mm. I have to admit for some something that people say don't taste good this is flipping delicious Cool. I'm gonna carry on eating my katonkel. Hopefully, I'll see you later for the fish. Mm. This is really good. You have no idea how good this is.
fish. It's a proper big fish.
So in the rush to get this amazing big fish uh, back into the water and safely released, uh, while we were taking photos, uh, the GoPro wasn't turned on, but we did manage to get some fantastic photos. While we were f taking photographs of this uh, big black ray, we did also measure it, um, and it came in at uh, 166 centimeters uh, across the wings, uh, which converts to about 151.1 kilograms, so an absolute giant, and what a lovely fish to catch. And uh, we did get some footage of the fish being released, so keep on watching for that. And uh, if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos.